Hello Magic Leap developers! This tutorial will walk you through how to build a Unity app for your Magic Leap 2 using the 2.0.0 version of the Magic Leap OpenXR Unity SDK package. Let's get started. Before you begin, you must have the following software installed. The Magic Leap Hub, which can be found under the download tab of the Magic Leap developer portal. And Unity 2022.3 LTS or later set to the Android build target. Refer to the installing Unity link in the description. Open up Magic Leap Hub and click on the Package Manager tile. The Package Manager allows you to install the Magic Leap SDK as well as other plugins and example projects. Install the following packages. Magic Leap CSDK, the Magic Leap Unity package, and if you haven't yet updated your device, install the matching version of the Magic Leap OS. For a compatibility matrix between the Magic Leap CSDK and the Magic Leap Unity package, please refer to the Magic Leap developer portal under Learn, Releases. After the packages have been installed and you have updated your device using the OS installer, proceed to creating a project. Make sure you are using Unity 2022.3 LTS or later. If you don't have it, install it with the Android build target. Open Unity Hub and click New Project. Select the 3D core template, give it a name, and click Create Project. Go to Window, Package Manager. In the top left corner, select the plus, then Add Package from Tarball. Navigate to the location of the following folders, Magic Leap, Tools, Unity, the Unity package version you've just installed and select the .tgz file within to add the com.magicleap.unitysdk.tgz package downloaded via ML Hub. To easily find this location, you can open up the Package Manager in Magic Leap Hub, navigate to the Unity package, and click the Open Folder link underneath the package title. Import the package and accept the pop-up message that appears. Your project will restart. After your project has restarted, Check to see that the OpenXR package has been successfully installed in the project as a dependency. If you do not see it installed, you can install it from the Unity registry. Go to Edit, Project Settings, XR Plugin Management. Select the Android tab and enable OpenXR and Magic Leap Feature Group as the plugin provider. Go to XR Plugin Management, OpenXR. Under the Enabled Interaction Profile field, click the plus icon on the right and add the Magic Leap 2 controller interaction profile to the list. Go to Unity, Settings, External Tools, Magic Leap, and set the SDK path to the Magic Leap CSDK installed earlier via Magic Leap Hub. You can use the Open Folder button on the Magic Leap Hub Package Manager to locate the package path. It will be located under Magic Leap ML SDK, the package version you installed. Go to Edit, Project Settings, Player, Android tab, scroll down to Publishing Settings, and check the box next to Custom Manifest. This enables you to add Magic Leap specific permissions to your application, which can be found under Edit, Project Settings, Magic Leap, Permissions. We will not need any extra permissions for this example. Go to Player, Android tab. At the top, set the following identifiers. Company name, the name of your company. Product name, the name of your app or product as you want it to appear on the in-device menu. Enter a version number here and then navigate to the other settings section. Set the color space property to linear. This enables more realistic rendering. For more information, read Unity's gamma and linear color space workflow guide linked in the description. Disable auto graphics API and make sure the only graphics API listed is Vulkan. Enable multi-threaded rendering. Set the texture compression format to DXT plus RGTC BC4 BC5. Set the normal map encoding to DXT5 NM dash style. Navigate to the identification section. Make sure the package name is unique, otherwise it may conflict with an app already installed on your device. Set the minimum API level to 29. Locate the Configuration section. Set the scripting backend to IL2CPP. Check the box next to the target architecture x86-64, Chrome OS, and Magic Leap 2. 
and set the target devices dropdown to all devices. If you do not have the Android build target installed in your Unity editor, go to File, select Build Settings. Under Platform, select Android. Click Switch Platform. Developers can use Unity's project validation tool to validate that project settings have been configured properly. Open the OpenXR project validation window. Window, XR, OpenXR, project validation. Verify that no issues are listed. If there is an issue, select Fix All in the top right of the project validation window. Begin by creating a new scene. File, New Scene. Select the basic template. Once the scene is open, go to Window, Package Manager, and locate the Magic Leap SDK that you've imported while setting up the project. Click on the Samples tab and import the ML Rig and Inputs package. Close the Package Manager. Back in the main Unity window, delete the main camera object from the hierarchy. In Assets, Samples, Magic Leap SDK, 2.0.0, ML Rig and Inputs, Find the ML Rig prefab and drag it into the scene hierarchy. Make sure the ML Rig object is selected and in the inspector under the XR origin script, change the tracking origin mode parameter to device. This will set the application's origin to the location of the headset height when the application is opened. You can also set the mode to floor if you would rather have content appear at floor level. Fully expand the ML Rig prefab and select the main camera child object. In the inspector, find the camera script and adjust the near value for the clipping planes parameter to 0.25. For more information about Magic Leap clipping planes, see the display zone documentation linked in the description. Go to Game Object, XR, Grab Interactable. Select the Grab Interactable cube and put it in position to 1 on the Z axis. Rotate it 65 degrees on the Y axis. Scale it down to 0.25 on all axes. In the inspector, find the XR Grab Interactable script attached to the object. Select the XR Interaction Manager that was created with the Grab Interactable from the scene hierarchy and drop it into the Interaction Manager field at the top of the script. Change the movement type to kinematic and enable smooth position and smooth rotation. Find the rigid body script attached to the object and check is kinematic. In the scene hierarchy, select the controller child of the ML rig. In the inspector, find the XR Ray Interactor script and uncheck force grab. Create three new materials by going to Assets, Create, Material, and name them Cyan, Magenta, and yellow. Give the scion a hue value of 00 FFFF. Magenta of FF00 FF. And FFFF00 for yellow. Now we will make the cube change color when the user hovers over and selects it. Select the grab interactable and find the interactable events drop down in the inspector. Under Hover Enter, click the plus icon on the bottom right. Drag and drop the Grab Interactable from the Scene Hierarchy into the Object field. In the Function dropdown, select Mesh Renderer Material. Then drop the Scion Material into the Material slot. Repeat this process for Hover Exit and select Entered using the magenta and yellow materials respectively. Before building the scene to the device, Go to Edit, Project Settings, XR Plugin Management, Open XR, and make sure that the Magic Leap 2 Controller Interaction Profile is added to the Enabled Interaction Profiles field. Now you're ready to build. Save the scene. Go to File, Build Settings. Add the open scene to the build order. Power on your device and connect it to your computer. To learn how to connect your device to the computer, refer to the Updating the OS with Magic Leap Hub video link in the description. Once the device is fully powered on, 
click Refresh next to the Run Device options in the Build Settings window. If your device is on, but you still do not see it in the list of Run Device options after refreshing, you may need to allow USB connection to the computer from inside the headset. Select your Magic Leap headset as the Run Device, and click Build and Run in the Build Settings window and follow the file saving prompt. You should now be able to interact with the cube in your Magic Leap headset. Congratulations! You just built your first Unity app for the Magic Leap 2. To learn more about our other features and device capabilities, please visit the developer portal linked in the description.